O-K-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O Program, starring Jack Benny with Johnny Green and his orchestra. The orchestra opens the program with At the Codfish Ball from the picture Captain January. <laughs> Today we are happy to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Jack Benny on the air. It's a great occasion, folks. So here's to Jack Benny, here's to Jell-O, and here's the merry month of May, the bright, colorful days that bring us the first hint of summer. But you needn't wait for summer to enjoy the lively goodness of its most popular fruits and berries. You can anticipate that pleasure right now with Jell-O. For Jell-O brings you the ripe fruit taste of cherries, raspberries, and strawberries all year round. Jell-O, and only Jell-O, knows the secret of capturing that extra rich fruit flavor. It tastes just as fine whether you make it yourself or get it at a restaurant. Tomorrow marks the beginning of the National Restaurant Week, so sometime this week when you're out at a restaurant, why not order an appetizing dish of Jell-O? Only always remember to ask for Jell-O by name, either at your grocer's or in a restaurant. Always insist on genuine Jell-O. <laughs> Tonight marks Jack Benny's fourth anniversary on the air. Radio marches back. 1932. Hello, National Broadcasting Company. This is the president of Canada Drive. Who's going to be the master of ceremonies on my program? Jack Benny. What, that punk? 1933. Hello, NBC. This is the president of the Chevrolet Company calling. Who'll be the comedian on our program? Jack Benny. What, that punk? 1934. Hello, NBC. This is Mr. O'Neill of the General Tire Company. Who's going to be the funny man on my program? Jack Benny. What? That punk? Radio marches on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Jell-O brings you that punk, Jack Benny. <laughs> Well, hello again. This is Punk Benny. I mean, Jack <laughs> Benny talking. Gosh, I'm so excited. This is my fourth year on the air. Isn't that a wonderful record, Don? Four years. Oh, I don't know, Jack. Amos and Andy have been on the air six years. Well, that's only three years apiece. I'm talking about a single performer, you know. <laughs> well, uh, how about Rudy Valley? He's been singing for seven years. I know, Don, but how long can his nose hold out? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I don't want to brag or sound egotistical, but I think that... Thanks. From Louisville. Says, uh, wish I could be with you on your fourth anniversary. I ran my darndest, but couldn't make it. Signed, brevity. <laughs> I wasn't that nice, Don. But you know what kills me? Everybody has congratulated me on my anniversary except the members of my program. Isn't that awful? See, you'd think I was some, some... Punk? Yes. No. <laughs> but they do owe me that courtesy. Uh, here comes Mary. She remembers. Oh, hello, Mary. Hello. Gosh, Jack, isn't it warm for May the 3rd? It sure is. Ah, May the 3rd. Mary, remember May the 3rd, 1932? Exactly the goal. Pop that day. <laughs> You see, Don? Mm -hmm. uh, say, Jack, can I go out for a minute? I want to send a telegram of congratulations. To who, Mary? Uh, my cousin. She's getting married tomorrow. Oh. I'll be right back. Well, I guess you're right, Jack. Oh, you can't blame her. She's got so much on her mind. Poor kid, you know. Hello, Jack. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I just heard you picked the winner in the derby. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks, uh, anyway. You're welcome. See you later. Okay. You see, Don, even Johnny forgot, you know? Well, Jack, you know, he's got so much on his mind. Oh, sure. His music and everything. Uh, so you had the winner in the Derby, eh? Yep. <laughs> well, that's fine, Jack. You know, I hate to bring this up on your anniversary, but if you remember, I had half of your horse. I know, Don, but my half came in first. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, let's see. What did I win? I have $2 to show. So of course, I'll have to give the jockey something. Oh, hello, Jack. 
Congratulations on your anniversary. Well, Kenny, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered it. There's nothing on his mind. <laughs> Say, how did you happen to remember my anniversary, Kenny? Gee, it's in all the papers. Yeah. Here's something I shipped out of the New York Times. Oh, yeah, what does it say? It says, uh, for the fourth consecutive year, the Senate Finance Committee took up the administration budget proposals. Hmm, well... Uh, they spelled your name wrong, Jack. <laughs> See who it is, Mary. I bet it's an interview or something, huh? Yeah? Hey, Jack, there's a pair of spats outside wants to see you. A pair of spats? Is there a man inside? Yes. Don Bester! Come on in, Don! <laughs> well, 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 look, look who's here, fellas. Good old Don. Hi, Don. Well, gee whiz. Jack, uh, I just thought I'd drop up and offer my congratulations. Well, this is some surprise. Mary, here's Don. Huh? Uh, hello, Mary. Hello, Don. I guess you received Jack's wire all right. Mm. <laughs> hey, Don, you're looking like a million dollars. Gee, you're one of the few who remembered me. I'll never forget you. Huh? You did last Christmas. <laughs> well, that wasn't my fault. Hey, why didn't you hang up your stocking when you went to bed? What, and pick off my spat? <laughs> Same old Bester. Gee, it's good to see you again. Huh? Say, Don, how are the wife and kitties? Kitties? How many kitties do you think I have? I don't know. I thought you were keeping score. <laughs> Mary, Don has only one child, and it looks just like him. What's the difference as long as they keep him in the house? <laughs> Why, a guest star, too. Say, Don, Don, you remember Wilson. Oh, sure. Hiya, Don. Hello, Don. How do you feel, Don? Fine, Don. Well, that's Don. <laughs> and this, uh, this is Kenny Baker. Hello. Oh, glad to meet you. And this is Johnny Green, our orchestra leader. How do you do, Mr. Green? Very well, thank you, Mr. Becker. Mm. <laughs> Old friends, eh? Uh. You've got a great orchestra, Mr. Green. Uh, what size baton do you use while conducting? Well, I formerly used a 7-inch baton, but now I get much better results with a 9-inch one. Mm. I use a 15-inch stick myself. Oh, well, why? It's easier to hit the musicians. <laughs> Mary. Professor, we're just about to start our next number. Would you care to assist me in directing the boys? Oh, I'd love to. Very well, then. Play, Don. Play, John. Remember, no fencing. <laughs> by Johnny Green and Don Bester. And it sounded great, too. Didn't it, fellas? Oh, yeah. You know, you know, I gotta pay you two boys a compliment. Oh, really, you both have swell orchestras. I don't know, your music is so soothing and restful. It never gets in your hair. Your what? Hair, hair, what's on your head? My nose, I had my face lifted. <laughs> Frank Parker, for heaven's sake. Well, well, Frank, is it really you? Yes, Jack, happy as a lark and ready to give you the bird. <laughs> Gee, that's nice of you, but you didn't have to come all the way over here, Frank. Gee, you could just as well have sent me a telegram. Oh, I wouldn't know what to say. Oh, Frank, stop. No, that's not enough. <laughs> Good old Frank, you haven't changed a bit, huh? You know, you look the same, Jack. 
Although you got fat. Oh, where? Between the ears. <laughs> no, Mary, here's Frank. You remember Frank? Hello, Frank. Hello, Mary. Gee, I missed you. And I miss you too, Frank. Then what are we waiting for? Mm. <laughs> hey, Frank, wait a minute. That kiss is a little too long there. You should have made it longer for the gag. Start it again. <laughs> oh, go on, Jack. I only kiss her like a father. Yeah, father time. <laughs> Say, Jack, didn't Bessie come up here, too? Sure, there he is. Hiya, Don. Hello, Frankie. You got a wire, too, huh? Yes, it's a lake. <laughs> Same old Jack. Say, Frank, listen, how did you know this was my anniversary? Huh? Why, it's in all the papers, Jack. Here, I cut out a clipping. Yeah, what does it say? It says, uh, for the fourth consecutive time, Lefty Grove pitched an airtight game for the Red Sox, winning six to nothing. <laughs> oh, boy, in the sports column, too, huh? <laughs> Gee, that's something, isn't it? Hello, Frank, old boy. How are you? Hi there, Wilson. What do you say? I say the Jell-O is the largest selling gelatin <laughs> dessert in the world, and every day millions of people eat it. Well, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> say, Frank, you know Johnny Green, huh? Oh, sure. Hello, Johnny. Hello there, Frank. You know, Jack, we went to Harvard together. But I got in. <laughs> well, well, well. If you're going to give him all the laughs, all right. Oh, Frank, listen, I want you to meet Kenny out. Baker from California here. Hello, Kenny. I'm very glad to know you. Gee, it's a thrill. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now that we're all here, now that we're all here and acquainted, we are going on with our feature attraction. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to offer an original drama of the backwoods entitled The Code of the Hill. This will go on immediately after the next number, which will be sung by Kenny Baker. Hey, Frank, John. Yeah? Stick around, you know, you're going to play in this too. Sing, Kenny. <laughs> I wish that we were there together There's no bridal suite One room bright and neat Complete for us to share Together Looking through the window You can see a distant not a sign of people who want people. When the steeple bell says good night, sleep well, we'll thank the small hotel together. I'd like to get away, dear, somewhere alone with you. It could be all so gay, dear. You need a laugh or two. A certain place I know, love, where funny people can have fun. That's where we two will go, love. Before you can count up one, two, three, four. Looking through the window, you can see a distant steeple. Not a sign of people.
Small Hotel, sung by Kenny Baker. Now for our play, The Code of the Hills, which we will present in two acts. The locale is the bluegrass country, 200 miles south of Louisville, which is five hours by train, two hours by plane, and 20 minutes by bold venture. <laughs> Take it, Wilson. The action takes place in the homes of the Jake Bennies and the Bester Parkers, who live within shooting distance of each other. And the feud is on. Curtain music jump. <laughs> Be right there, Sarah. A shooting and a killing. A shooting and a killing. When is it going to stop? We ain't going to quit till those best of Parkers are wiped out. By gum and by jello. There ain't no room in these hills for both of us. You said it, Pappy. Get away from that door, Ken. Say, Paul, what have you and got again the best of Parkers? That's just it. I never did get the best of Parkers. Remember when Heans and Weans was working on the same program, eh? Yes, and? Yes, and. <laughs> well, one night I asked him how many hairs on a monkey's face, and he said the next time you shave, count them. <laughs> he knew I couldn't count. <laughs> well, I ain't a cheering for that kind of city talk, and I ain't never forgetting. and the Bester Parkers have been a-stopping for 200 yards. Yes, Sarah. 200 yards of a-fighting and a-scrotching and a-killing each other. Looks like it's leading up to a few. Wouldn't be surprised. Hey, Ken, barricade that double door. Oh, Pappy! Come. They got me, Pappy. They got me. What was that, Paul? Sarah, they un got our boy, Ken. Got him right through the door. I didn't know he was a-wearing them. Oh, I'm a-going, Pappy. I'm a-getting weaker and weaker. Goodbye, Pappy. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye. <laughs> Poor King. He had such a nice tenor voice. Yeah. You reckon I ought to take him out and bury him? Better have your supper first. It's a-getting cold. <laughs> so is Ken. Chuck, I'm so hungry right now, I could eat a horse. Well, that's what we got. Mm, silly of soul. Eh? Oh, I'm a-going, Pappy. Still a-going. Take your time, son. I'm a-dying, Paul. Chuck, and I wanted to be president. Now don't worry, boy. You can be vice. What do you mean? You're a darn. Got them Benny scared now. Looks like they're afraid of us. Say, Frank, what have we and got again them, Benny? Nothing. We just naturally hate people in these hills for no reason at all. It's just a wreck. Well, I'm a willing to stick to you, Frank. But I ain't got no hankin' for that kind of fighting. You ain't? No, I just wear fat. No, I just want us fat. I just want us fat. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. Well, I guess. Fine that's... guest star. <laughs> Well, Don, I guess that's one for the Benny. Getting cold feet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Say, how did we make out today, Don? Uh, we got three Bennies and a skunk. Oh, four Bennies, huh? <laughs> Good thing I didn't hear that. <laughs> Look, Frank, there's a Jake. There's Jake down over the window. Why don't you let him have it? Ah, uh, Chuck can't waste a whole bullet on one Benny. I'ma wait until someone gets behind him. Oh, down Sarah now. <laughs> Land sake, there goes that jug of corn liquor. That's a going too far. There ain't nothing sacred. Howdy, Uncle Jake. Hello there, John. Where have you been? You shouldn't be a walking around with your left arm shot up like that. I've been a seeking some cord for to tie it up with. It keeps a falling off. <laughs> no, John, I don't like the way that arm of yours keeps a dropping off. It might be ailing. <laughs> What's that you got under your other arm? My right leg. Oh. Well, put it in the umbrella stand and come to dinner. Be right there, Aunt Sarah. 
Oh, gone it. I wish those Parkers would hold off till we get through eating. Was our daughter, Mariah? She went down to the village to buy a toothbrush. Got her hardest set on it. Toothbrush? What's that? Oh, one of them things to rub on your teeth. They were using them in the city. <laughs> hmm, a toothbrush. Bob gum, what'll they be thinking up next? Here comes Mariah now. I'm shooting. I got my eye on a star in the sky. Shooting high. <laughs> Hello, Kathy. Hello, Ma. William's been a worrying about you, gal. You shouldn't be out of doors the weather like this. That's all right, Kathy. Who's that on the floor? That's your brother, Ken. He was a standing by the door, and they ends up and killed him. Killed him, killed him. Your poor brother. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't take it so hard, Mariah. I know you love him. Yeah. What do we got for supper, Ma? Mm. Nothing fancy, just a horse. Ah, uh, I hope I don't get the leg again. <laughs> Say, Kathy. Yeah? As I was coming up the hill, one of them best o'clock is stopped me. He did? Yeah, said he just heard about your fourth anniversary. What else did he say, gal? Said he was surprised you lasted that long. <laughs> Give me my rifle, I'll show him. There they are now, a sitting on the porch. Oh, Kathy, Kathy, be careful, they're meaner than skunk. And trickier. <laughs> Take that, you ornery polecat. <laughs> Watch out, Uncle Jake. <laughs> They missed me. That's all right. They got Kenny again. <laughs> yeah. They got me, Pappy. They got me. I told you we should have buried him. <laughs> well, I'll make them pay for this or my name ain't Jake. This shot get to your name was Jake. Take that. <laughs> missed me again. Oh, yeah? Where's your ear? <laughs> Doggone it, and I wanted to hear Phil Baker. <laughs> Hand me that other gun. Come on, John, let him have it. Okay, Jake. They're getting tired, Sarah. They stopped the shooting. Who is that, Pop? Just an echo. Well, the echo got Johnny. <laughs> hey, Don. Yeah? How's our ammunition holding out? Getting pretty low. I reckon I'll have to borrow some. Then maybe the ends are willing to stop this feud. Not Jake Penny. He's the feudinous man in these hills. <laughs> I wonder what makes him so feudy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Ooh, they got me fine. Too bad. See you later, Don. <laughs> Look, Mariah. Look, I hit Fester. Got him right in the foot. You hit the sad. <laughs> Who's that? It's me, a Parker. Parker? Yeah, and I'd like to borrow some ammunition. I'll gladly pay you back Tuesday. <laughs> Go over just to keep this feud going. How many bullets you and need? How many back of your family? Three, but you better take an extra one. I'm expecting company. Here you are. Well, I get these bullets back. In two minutes if my aim is good. <laughs> well, thanks, Jake. So long. So long. I'll be shooting you. <laughs> get him, Paul, before he runs back to the house. Yahoo! I hit him in the suspenders. That'll slow him down. <laughs> Come in. Hello, Hansa. <laughs> You'll pardon my patrol. <laughs> but as a federal agent, Doug Gunnett, I came here from Washington, N.B. Washington, N.B.? Yeah, near Baltimore. <laughs> well, you one's a federal man, eh? Yeah, boy. <laughs> and as a working for the government, 
Aren't we all? Quiet, darling. What are you and do you wanting around here, stranger? Well, I came here to select a place for a new government project. Is that so? Sure enough. <laughs> We've are aiming to build up here a canal 28 and a half miles long. 28 and a half mile canal, eh? Are you a going to have locks on it? What do we need with locks? Who's going to steal it? <laughs> I reckon you and have come to the right place, stranger. The grass around here is so dry the cows give powdered milk. That's your hot lot. <laughs> but listen to my proposition, please. I'll give you to your property cash money of one dollar and fifty cents net. That so is a heap of money. Hold out for an extra quarter, Pa. Gas is running low. You haven't heard what she said, Stranger. Yeah, she's a sizzler. <laughs> well, I'll make it two dollars even. Sign here. Sarah, potch me the pen and potch me the ink. Here, potch. <laughs> Where do I scratch? Right here, but don't make a blush. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Ooh, Mariah, pick up that pen. Never mind, Pa. I'll get you another one. I want that one. My hand's on it. <laughs> well, there you are. Yeah, well, thank you. Where's the money? Right outside my car. Oh, I'm along with it, Mariah. And be careful. All right, Kathy. Come along, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh... Uh, Hezekiah Slepperman. <laughs> with a benzo on my knee. <laughs> oh, come on, Hunter Bunch. Well, Sarah, we uns rich now. Hot digging. Yes, Pa, and we can move away from these hills. No, we can't, Sarah. Not till the feud is over. Feud? Feud? That's all I ever hear, and I'm a getting sick of it. What, Sarah? Feud only plow the field. Feud only can the crops, Pa. Wouldn't be no feud. And speaking of feud, you will find that Jello is the most delicious feud in the world. And it has that collection of <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and... and... Uh, Lime! Lime. <laughs> thank ye, Parker. Thank ye, Bester. You're welcome, welcome me, Jack. Well, that's that. Why's Mariah in that federal man? Give me the crackers. You still got plenty of hot bullets here. No, we ends are used to it. Hey, Spencer, you know I like that daughter of yours? She's some snappy denzel. <laughs> well, you ends like my daughter, eh? Yeah, for her, I feel like a yogi. In fact, I asked her to marry me. Can't see that I'm surprised. Mariah? What have you and got to say about this? Well, I'll tell you, my friends. We've been talking there for a long time, and it's got to be Stand by now for grand good news. Everybody, my sight. Jell-O is introducing a new product to Metropolitan New York and New England. Jell-O Ice Cream Mix, a modern, quick, easy way of making the very best ice cream you've ever tasted. Jell-O Ice Cream Mix comes in five luscious flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, tutti frutti, and orange pineapple. The three fruit flavors are real, cut-up fruits in their own sweetened juices. The vanilla and chocolate syrups are deliciously mellow. Each flavor freezes smoothly, flawlessly in the trays of your automatic refrigerator. Just open a can of Jell-O Ice Cream Mix. Add some milk, some whipped cream, stir only once during the freezing, and you'll have six generous portions of rich, creamy ice cream, smooth and full-flavored, absolute luxury ice cream. See your grocer tomorrow and get some Jell-O ice cream mix. If he hasn't put it in stock yet, be sure he orders it for you. Never accept any substitute for Jell-O ice cream mix, because nothing else will give you the same fine results. Remember the name... Jello ice cream mix. Thanks, Frank, for coming up here tonight. It was darn sweet of you. And you too, Don. That's all right, Jack. I'm glad I came. And I enjoyed it too. I hope to see you soon again. 23 skidoo. <laughs> hmm, who wrote that? I did. Good night, folks. <laughs> music included Love in Bloom from She Loves Me Not, and there's a small hotel from On Your Toes. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs>